Hello and welcome back to another episode of Adam Talks About His University Course and or Wanting to Be a Graphic Designer. If you have a problem with this whole sort of me talking to a camera about my life is that I don't really know if you care. About two weeks ago I uploaded a video, was it two weeks ago? Whatever. A while back I made a video in which I asked people for feedback on my videos and how to improve. The main advice I got from that video was to keep making videos, which I fully understand. If you keep making videos, you learn from them, you learn make mistakes, you improve. The issue is I don't know what to make videos about because I don't really think people will care about me and my life. I don't have the audacity to believe that my little life has any interest to anyone. Nor do I have any evidence really to support this and that could be because I haven't made enough videos about my life to gain a group of people who are interested in my life. I don't know where this video's going. And the reason I don't believe people would care really about my life is because I don't really know who I'm making these videos for. These type of life updatey kind of videos, I don't particularly make them for myself because I've never really been one to journal my life. I never kept a diary. And although it's quite fun to keep documentation of the bigger events like my Summer in the City video, the smaller sort of changes in my life? Will I care if I look back on them in a year? Will it bother me to see what I was thinking at this particular time? And then there's the issue of people who have now subscribed to me. Am I making my videos for them? But I'm still pretty much a stranger to them. So maybe these videos are to introduce me to become less of strangers to them? There's also the possibility that I make these videos for my family, who I do know some of them watch these. But then again, if they want a life update from me, I'll call them, or they can call me. We can have a chat on the phone, I don't need to make a video about what's going on in my head for them to know about it. And this is where the problem comes in. I want to make more videos because I enjoy being part of the community. I like going to YouTube galleries, meeting other creators, and being one of the creators, so to speak. I love the concept that I could meet and work with other YouTubers. That said, the rest of this video is going to be me talking about stuff in my life happening how the last few months of doing full-time work has strengthened my long-time goals in my life to be a graphic designer and to work in a creative field. Also, I've now taken my jumper off. Let's hope there's no continuity errors here. So I've mentioned this before, but over the summer holidays, between my second year and going on to the third year of uni, I've done full-time work at a pub. But this next coming week will be my last week of doing full-time work at this pub. I absolutely cannot wait to go down to part-time and be doing my university course again. Now, something particularly bad about the place I'm working, the people I work with are mostly lovely. The customers are rarely idiots. Just some of the time they're idiots, but most of the time they're fine. The job pays well, the hours aren't particularly too bad. The only thing I really disliked about this job is just how much time I have spent there doing this incredibly mundane, repetitive job. Every single shift of me being a barman at this pub has consisted of me doing three things. Serving customers, cleaning the bar, and restocking the bar. Every single shift. And this mundane repetitiveness has just driven me crazy. And I realised that I would absolutely hate to do a job like this for the rest of my life. This job, more than anything I've ever done before, has absolutely hammered home how much I want to do a creative job, a creative, have a creative career. I want to lead a career in which every day is different. Every new client brings a new job and every process is different. I don't want to have this mundane repetitiveness that I have experienced over these last three months. I think it really hit home for me when I realised that this job is causing me to wish away my life. When I start a shift, I absolutely cannot wait for those six hours to end. That's six hours of my life that I just want gone just gone. And some of the people who've worked there for seven years, I feel so sorry for them. The waitresses and the waiters and the bar staff. They've done the same things, the same few repetitive tasks every day for seven years. That is their life and I feel so, so sorry for them. But like I said, nothing has ever made me more determined to find a career that does not involve this mundane repetitiveness. More so than any of the education or aspirations I've had before, this job has really made me want to be a graphic designer or something similar. So in summary, my life and career goals very firm right now. I have never been more sure where I want to go in my life. My goals as a YouTuber, incredibly cloudy, not really sure what's happening. But for the time being, I will continue making videos and experimenting with each one until I find something that feels comfortable for me to create 
something I enjoy creating and something that gains a good response from the people who watch them. Until the next random rambling video about shit. Goodbye!